and this year I am trying to make a cowl a month throughout the year. So to, we are on January and I've just made up this cowl that I knit for myself. And this video is for everyone that asked me if they could have the pattern. So it's a very simple cowl, so I didn't want to go through actually writing it out, putting it on Ravelry or anything, because it is so simple, that's not needed. So I thought I would just do a quick video. So I'm just going to tell you about the cowl while it's on, so you can actually see if you haven't seen it before. And then I'll twirl the camera around and we'll look at it um, just flat and I will tell you how to how you make it and also leave instructions underneath the video but literally it's easy <laughs> it's really easy um so yeah if you can cast on knit purl cast off you can make this cow and knit in the round it is knit in the round so all it is is a garter stitch to start with well I'll pull it up then we've got some garter stitch and stockinette. Then we've got some pearl rows to give some texture. And then it's knit and it rolls down. So I either wear it like this or that first section can be turned up so it's double thickness. And so it makes a nice smaller cowl if you just wanted something just nice and tidy to wear. I like wearing cows in the house so I can take them on and off as I get hot. So yeah, I quite like it like this because it's just out of the way. It's nice and warm. So yeah, that is the cow for January. So let me spin the camera around and we'll do a step-by-step -step of how I made it. Okay, so all the instructions are going to be down below as well, so you can check that out. But first of all, what you're going to need is obviously four ply yarn, fingering weight yarn, and you're going to be using 80 grams, so you might as well start off with 100 to be sure. So you will need three millimeter needles and it, they are for circulars because this is going to be knit in the round so you want to make sure that it's long enough that you can knit all the way without doing magic loop you can do magic loop if you want if that's preferred I prefer to do smaller so I choose a shorter um, cable for mine <laughs> so that's three millimeter needles and then you want to cast on 154 stitches so that's 154 stitches cast on your own particular way that you like to cast on whichever is your favorite this is big enough that it shouldn't need to stretch over your head unless you know that your head is a bit bigger <laughs> that doesn't sound right i'm sorry but i know i've got a small head so i know most things are going to fit over the top but some not all heads are the same size it's all i'm saying okay let's move swiftly on so you cast on your 54 stitches and now we're going to do the garter which is down here so all that is is one row knit one row purl so we're going to repeat that five times so 10 rows in total so Knit a row, purl a row, knit a row, purl a row for 10 rows. After that, you'll be going on to the first section. So it's just got stocking stitch and then garter in the middle. And so we're going to do, I used a lot of stitch markers at the beginning of each garter, which I find helps. It's up to you how much you like to use stitch markers. Make sure they're different from your beginner's row marker, obviously. So we've got from this um, beginning of the row, you want to knit 18, purl 4, knit 18, purl 4, and that's all the way around. And that should work out that you finish on a purl section at the end of the marker. Okay. So then your next row is going to be knit 18, 
knit the four as well. So your next row is going to be a complete knit row. So you're going to knit right over these garters as well. So it's a two row repeat. You're going to knit, purl, knit, purl. And then the next row, row two, is knit the whole row. And you're just going to repeat that for 11 centimetres. And that is four and a quarter inches, if you like to work by inches. But this is a cowl, so it doesn't have to be exact. So don't worry about that. But mine is 11 centimetres, which is four and a quarter inches. So let's move up to the next section. So on this section, we are going to do these ridges are pearls. These ridges are pearls and then we've got knit in between. So we're going to purl three rows and then knit six rows. It doesn't look twice the size of this because of the way it lays when it's actually made up. It just naturally falls into that. So if I stretch it out, you will see there's more rows. But laying flat, sorry, laying flat, it looks like it's about the same, but it's purl three and then knit six. And this is four. And this is for 11 centimetres again. So exactly the same as that. 11 centimetres, 11 centimetres, and that will give you seven of these ridges. Okay, so that is section two. Then we come on to section three. Now on this section, I'm going to hold it with my diddly stick. <laughs> So on this section, that is all knit rows. So you are going to knit for 11 centimetres, four and three quarter inches. Just knit. So just knit every single round until it is 11 centimetres. And then you're going to cast off on the cast off of your choice. And that is it. And then it will naturally roll. That is why generally we use a rib or a garter to stop it rolling. But I think it looks nice and soft on that edge near your face to have that nice soft roll. And it reflects these ridges here in the ridges there because they're the pearls on the back of the work anyway. So that is it. So I hope I've made that clear. As I said, you can jot down the instructions very simply underneath. So good luck with your cowl. I'm sure it is going to look beautiful. And yeah, I shall set up a hashtag on Instagram because I'd love to see them. So take care, happy knitting, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.